Gemini Rising's June 2024 is a huge month of coming out of your shell and being seen for all the inner growth that you've been doing. If you're excited to dive into what we can expect this June for you, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I am Marin. I'm an astrologer and I have more astrology content that you can find down below as well as my music if you would like to stream that. So we start out this month during the first week from the 1st to the 7th with the Sun conjunct Venus and Gemini. This is great for attracting in what you want and any attention because this is happening in your first house of self. So any sort of attention or things coming to you that could be abundant or vibrant and like you're just attracting an attention that you want basically in the first week. Also from the 1st to the 6th, Jupiter will be trying Pluto between your first house of self and your ninth house of higher education or travel, showing that all the growth and expansion of your identity and who you are and the attention that you're getting is helping you focus or nail down what you want to do with school or travel plans. Then on the fourth, Mercury will conjoin Jupiter in your first house. This is amazing for you saying something that is well received or is widely noticed as being great and positive and good and you have good news to share. Then on the sixth, there is a new moon in your Gemini first house. This is a really positive new beginning around your identity, your appearance, or your personality to some degree, where you're getting attention and being seen for a really positive aspect of yourself, and you're getting to start that on a new level. On the 8th, however, Venus will score Saturn between your 1st and 10th houses. You could feel as if your career is getting in the way of you attracting in something that you want. Then on the 9th, Mars enters your Taurus 12th house. This shows that you could be dealing with some mental health troubles or just like trouble sleeping or something mentally is being more challenging and troublesome for you. On the 10th to the 12th, Mars will square Pluto in your 9th house. This can be showing that there's tension between your mental health and the travel or school plans that you're executing and going after. Then on the 14th, there's a Sun Mercury Kazemi in your first house. This shows illumination, clarity, or information coming your way to be clear about something about yourself and your identity. On the 16th to the 18th, Mercury will conjoin Venus in your first house. This shows that you're speaking good news or positive news into existence. You have great things to say. Then on the 16th to the 18th as well, Mercury will score Neptune in your 10th house. This is again showing that there's some conflict between your career and your personal and what you're attracting. So this could be showing that your career is being confusing or conflicting in a way that's getting in the way with with what you want to attract. On the 17th, Venus will enter your Cancer's second house, showing more ease of attracting in money coming your way in the second half of the month. And we end the month on the 21st with a full moon in your Capricorn eighth house, showing an ending or a selling of something related to a financial asset coming your way. You're probably getting rid of something financially. If you already have anything that you would like to share about this June coming up for you, do leave me a comment down below. The tarot card that we have here for Gemini Risings is Justice. I pulled this for another sign. I forgot which one, but justice, justice, literally things are going to work out. Like there's justice. Maybe I need, maybe that's, I just keep pulling this card. I fucking need this card. If you enjoyed this, do make sure to like and subscribe because it does help out. And let me know down below how you're feeling and what your plans are for this June. Wishing you an awesome month ahead and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Oh, there is one thing.